Welcome back to Inside Africa. Now, very few Africans get electricity from a central power grid. But while much of the continent lacks infrastructure, it does get an abundance of sunshine. Well, a U.S. charity called Solar Light for Africa has harnessed that energy for more than 2,400 homes, schools, clinics, and churches in Uganda. T.J. Holmes shows us how. In 1997, retired Episcopal Bishop Alden Hathaway started turning on lights in East Africa. We are so pleased to bring light to your home. And since has passed the torch to his son. Using solar panels constructed in the region, Hathaway's family run charity, Solar Light for Africa, makes lives brighter for people in communities without electricity. It's not going and, and, and just giving out food and clothing, but it's working collaborative. It's working uh, in a cohabitative way with Africans side by side, helping them improve their country and learning from each other, both deepening our faith as we go. Solar Light for Africa has an impressive record in providing light to more than 2,400 facilities and clean water to three hospitals and an orphanage while bringing dozens of young Americans from schools and churches around the U.S. to work in East Africa. I went with my mom the first year, and then um, my dad and my brother joined us the next year in 2000, and we've been going as a family ever since. It really puts the whole world in perspective, rather than just keeping a little bubble and not really seeing what's out there. And uh, a lot of what, it, what there is to see in Africa is a need. Uganda is an example of the need. Only a small percentage of the country's population has access to electricity. Once you venture out into the rural areas of the country of Uganda, Virtually everybody has no electricity. I've done some of the roofing work, some of the wiring work, some of the mounting of switch boxes and, uh, you know, connections up in the ceilings. I've done a little bit of everything. And it's making a world of difference. It's one thing to say, ooh, Africa, look at those kids on TV who are stabbing. It's another thing to actually get on a plane and go and see them and actually carry them and help them and climb up on a roof and put solar uh, to help a child be able to study at night or to help a mother be able to stay up and nurse a child and look after their family. And the benefits flow both ways. What Solar Light for Africa has brought to my country, to Uganda, um, is not just a handout. Is they've given us resources, they've given us ladders, a place where we can step to move to a higher place. They've empowered us. And that's what we need. It inspires my faith. Um, it's something that I can't get here in America. In Uganda, because of their faith, they see everything as a gift from God. They helped me to become the person that I am today. Um, they strengthened my faith in God so much that I, I don't even know where I would be if it wasn't for me going to Africa. T.J. Holmes, CNN, Atlanta. And, you know, Bishop Hathaway says it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the huge need that still exists, but he says his organization is committed to providing as much solar power to the continent as possible.